Hey guys, in this one we're going to be removing some impacted wisdom teeth. Before we get into the clinical footage, let's look at an x-ray of a patient that came in complaining of pain and swelling in the lower left jaw. And we can see circled in blue there's some bone loss due to rec recurrent pericoronitis, so we decided to extract all four wisdom teeth. And we're going to get into the clinical footage by anesthetizing the patient with a PSA block on both sides, and then some infiltration around the first molar area with Articane 1 and 200. We're also going to give some palatal anesthesia on both sides until we can see blanching of the tissue. And I'll usually put about a quarter of a cartridge in. And then we're gonna start by getting access to the wisdom tooth by laying a buccal flap. I'll start the flap at the straight distal of the second molar and then connect it with a incision right over the crest where the wisdom tooth would be. We're gonna reflect the flap with a number nine molt periosteal until we can see the alveolar bone and the top of the wisdom tooth. We're gonna basically just use a thin elevator and get it in between the wisdom tooth and the second molar. And impacted wisdom teeth like this are not anchored by anything, so it comes out nice and easy. You can see the dental follicle is still attached because these were not fully developed wisdom teeth. So it's gonna come out with the wisdom tooth and we're gonna remove what's left of the follicle just with these college pliers. Once the wisdom tooth is out, we're going to suture it with a 4-0 chromic gut. And we're just going to do two throws with a surgeon's knot and then a square knot to reapproximate the flap. And then we're going to snip it, and that's a self-dissolving tissue. We can see that the uh, the roots are not fully formed. There's just soft tissue at the end of them there. We're going to irrigate the socket with some sterile saline, and then move on to the next one. So same procedure. Going to lay a buckle flap starting at the straight distal of the second molar, and then make an incision over the crest of the ridge and connect it with the initial incision using our 15 blade. And then we're going to lay the flap with the number nine molt periosteal until we have good access to the wisdom tooth. Occasionally in these cases, uh, some bone reduction may be required, but not in this case. There's some soft tissue covering the wisdom tooth, which we're able to just remove with our elevator. And then we're going to apply some traction force with the elevator and elevate the wisdom tooth right out. And the follicle comes out with this one as well. We're going to remove the follicle. In this case, I actually just used a tissue adhesive since we had pretty good hemostasis. And we're going to get started with the lower left wisdom tooth now. We would have administered a block with um, an inferior alveolar injection. And then we're going to do the same procedure, laying a buckle flap starting at the mesiobuckle of the second molar and then making a small incision distally. And then we're going to reflect the flap with the periosteal until we are on bone. And oftentimes bone reduction is required for lower, lower wisdom teeth, but I decided to try to give it a bit of an elevation before removing any bone to see if, there, if we could obtain luxation, and we were able to. So since it was pretty loose, we just spent half a minute wiggling it, and sure enough, we were able to deliver the tooth and we're going to suture this incision lower wisdom teeth are typically more commonly susceptible to going to remove the follicle there as well susceptible to dry socket so we are going to suture this one although I don't suture every lower wisdom tooth socket with another 4-0 chromic gut tie it off and then irrigate it. I'll always give um, 600 milligrams of Advil and 1,000 milligrams of Tylenol preoperatively for pain management, and then I'll have the patient use that postoperatively a couple times a day as well for the next couple days. You can apply some tissue adhesive for the buckle flap and then apply some saline. Unfortunately, I did not have the quad four recorded, but we were able to get all four wisdom teeth out uneventfully. <laughs> 